trust that you're feeling good today? The reason I put this audio because yesterday I picked up this positive book online where it was saying that some things have been proven even 50 to 60 years ago, but it all seems new to some. I always tell people to only subscribe to my channel only if it resonates within them. So today's audio is extremely important to listen and find a way to soothe yourself as often as you can. And as usual, use, using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure of listening. Enjoy the day, have fun. So we're eager to visit with you today. We want to help you to understand that the laws of physics that you understand, like the law of gravity, which is consistent, you don't have to go to a school about gravity. They don't say to you in your first days in school, you know, if you don't come to this class, you could fall up. <laughs> many, many children are missing. <laughs> because the law is consistent. It works the same for everyone. And you learn to utilize the law to your advantage. And the law of attraction is such a law. It is utterly consistent. It never makes an exception and it never makes a mistake. So you have to figure out how to work within the laws of the universe. We cannot talk about the law of attraction without introducing to the subject the word momentum because law of attraction is the reason that momentum exists. When you give your attention to something for as little as 17 seconds, at that 17 second point, there is a momentum that is discernible as another thought like it joins it and so forth. So the more you focus, the more momentum. But the most important thing to understand about the way momentum works is that when you are sleeping, you have a reprieve of the momentum. In other words, your beliefs are in suspension while you sleep, which means the momentum of them, the law of attraction momentum of them is slow to non-existent depending upon how well you are sleeping. So what that means is when you awaken in the morning, you have the opportunity to reestablish if you want to a vibrational starting point that law of attraction will begin to respond to right away. Now, usually when you wake up in the morning, you remember what you were thinking about yesterday or more important, you re achieve the emotional feeling place of what you were feeling yesterday. It's like, oh yeah, I remember I'm not happy. <laughs> or, oh yeah, I remember I'm lonely. I'm lonely now. Or, oh yeah, I remember I'm confused. <laughs> but what we want you to realize is that you don't have to be the same lonely today that you were yesterday because that night's sleep changed the momentum. But when you wake up in the morning and you deliberately, and you do call those same people, talk about those same things, focus in the same ways, you reactivate your vibration much as it was before, but you do not have to do that. And that is the most important thing. We want you to realize that you are at a new starting point in every moment. But it is unlikely for you to begin to think all new thoughts when you wake up. Some of you have suggested a lobotomy. <laughs> we don't recommend it because there are many things that you believe that are serving you really well. You just want to become a better sifter. You want to become a better discerner. You want to become better at caring about how you feel and then focusing in ways that accomplish that. If we can, in some way, offer enough words, words don't teach, and analogies, words don't teach, and conversation, words don't teach. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. <laughs> that if we can offer enough that will to stimulate within you the awareness that your point of attraction is everything because you are the center of your universe and that you are the perceiver of it, which means you are the vibrational interpreter of it. You translate your vibration into the reality that you are living, into what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching. If we can convince you 
that since all those things are true, that the only thing that matters to you is how you feel. If we, if you can leave this room with a new determination within you that you now more than ever before care about how you feel and mean to do something about soothing yourself. Esther was on an airplane last week going from Boston back to San Antonio. And there was a beautiful family sitting in front of her, a mother and a child about six years old and two little twin boys who were about two, maybe, if even. They were walking, sort of kind of talking. And they were all strapped into their four seats. And Esther was sitting right behind the mother. And when the airplane took off, one of the little boys across the aisle from his mother was terrified. It was probably his first flight and the roar of the engine, the sound of the machine, the feeling of it on the runway. He was hysterical and he wasn't spoiled. He was hysterical. He was frightened. It was a new experience and the power of the airplane scared him. His mother and the flight attendants looking right at his mother like, Do not get out of your seat. Do not get out of your seat. And Esther is thinking, if I were that mother, I would be out of my seat now. So the airplane got in the air and once it was stable, long after Esther thought it was stable, the flight attendant gave her the knowing nod, like now, now that your child is out of oxygen, So now mother moved over into his seat and held him tight in her arms, just tight in her arms, kissing the back of his head and holding him tight in her arms. And gradually he settled down back into his knowing that all was well. And Esther watched that and she said to her friend sitting next to her, I want to do that with everyone on the planet. I want them to sit on my lap and I want to hold them in my arms and I want to say, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. She wants to do it to herself. She wants to soothe herself into a point of attraction that allows her what she wants and deserves. She wants you to be soothed into a point of attraction that allows you what you want and deserve because that is the only missing factor. How you feel, how you feel. If you're terrified, if you're angry, if you're resentful, if you're depressed, if you're aggravated, if you're overwhelmed, those negative emotions are you beating up on you. Now you don't, it doesn't feel like that to you. It feels like somebody else is doing it. Esther was pretty mad for a minute at the flight attendant who was just doing her job. But it made Esther want with everything that she is to just make sure that she takes care of feeling good. In other words, someone asked us the best question that has ever been asked a few weeks ago. And the question was, Abraham, how do you get rid of doubt? And we said, you get rid of it before it starts, which was so annoying <laughs> because when you're in the middle of it, that question, that answer doesn't apply. How do I get rid of it before it starts when I've already got it? And we say, well, eventually you're going to sleep and you're going to get up tomorrow and tomorrow you're going to soothe yourself better so that doubt never gets started. Doubt will never get a foothold if you're watching what you're doing. So Esther began applying that to herself. She woke up every morning with a determination that she was going to find a good feeling place and that she was going to maintain it as long as she could. And she, for the first, the first day, she didn't even get out of bed before it was too late. The second day it was better. The third day she didn't make it through breakfast. In other words, it took quite a while of Esther caring more about how she felt than tending to emails, caring more about how she felt than tending to what was going on with other people. In other words, you've got to put yourself first. You've got to be so selfish. You have to care about how you feel, which means you have to tend to the self that you really are. You've got to find a way of 
closing that gap between who you're being right now and who you really are and who you really are loves you so much adores you appreciates everything that you are flows constantly to you assisting you in every possible way last week Esther came bouncing up the steps and the step wasn't stable when she stepped on it it caved in and her foot went between the step and the stage scraped up her shin she stumbled onto the stage it was funny <laughs> it was it was really funny and Esther thought for the life of me I do not know how I went down so Esther has a dear friend who sees energy she always comes to the seminars in the city where she lives and sits in the back of the room because she not only likes to see the energy around Abraham she liked to see the energy around Jerry when he was sitting at the table and the energy around you she could see she could actually see who was all lighted up she knows who Abraham is likely to call on because she can read this energy so after every workshop she watches all of the live streams She sends Esther an email and she says, yeah, Jerry walked on the stage with you. And Esther says, yeah, I know. I can feel him there. And then she said, he caught you last week. And Esther thought, that's why I didn't fall down. Didn't make sense to me. I didn't have my balance. I didn't have anything close to my balance, but I didn't go down. This is the thing that we want you to understand. We've got you. But if you're not knowing that, if you're mad at yourself, then you don't let us get you. You prevent yourself from receiving the inspiration. Do you know when you yawn? That's because you need more oxygen and we yawn you. <laughs> All of you are receivers, you see. How often are you in traffic and you know to do something that prevents something that how many things do you prevent that you don't even know you prevent so many because you're receiving constant impulses you are so blessed you are so tended to we are so aware of you and you are so in your own way so much of the time as you're complaining about this and worrying about that watching CNN <laughs> So we want you to know that you are the focal point of so much awareness and that when you ask for something, we all know it. And we see clearly the path for you to move from where you are to where you want to be. And you know what? You want it to be a direct path. We don't. We want you to have fun along the way to the path. We want you to pick up more things along your physical trail along the path. We want you to gain more clarity along the path. We want you to continue to feel your vortex full of more things that you want along the path. Because you know why? It's a very long path. You know why? It's a path of eternity. So you keep being in such a hurry to get over there. I really want to be over there. I'm not happy over here. Then you're not ever going to get over there. Can't get over there. Can't get there from here. If you're unhappy over here about what's over there that you don't have over here, you can't get over there. So what we want you to understand is that it's never about getting over there. It's about preparing over here so that over there can come over here where you are. Do you get that? Because this is about law of attraction. This isn't about law of assertion. It's not law of getting things done. It's not the law of pro proving worthiness. It's a law of attraction. It's about you finding some way to think some sort of thought to get on, to hold yourself on your own lap and soothe yourself. I am a good person and I am doing well and all is really well and it's getting better. And I am figuring this out and things are going my way and I'm getting clearer every day and I'm having fun in the process of doing this. And I'm understanding the creative process. And I know that this is a universe based upon attraction. And I know about vibration and I know what I'm doing with vibration. I'm getting better at it every day. And there's evidence every day that lets me know that. As you soothe yourself, as you do something about tending to your point of attraction, which is all that matters because everything else is already done. You see, it's like sometimes we'll just give you a sort of analogy. You've asked for it and you're summoning it, but you've got your shield up, your cloaking device. You've got your umbrella up, mm -mm, old style. 
You've got your umbrella up and everything that you want is flying to you, but you're deflecting it with your habits of thought, with your bogus, ridiculous habits of thought, like unworthiness or unreadiness or not in the right place or, or being mad at somebody else.